What is going on everybody? It is Bucky and welcome to your 486 Objective C tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be talking about something called enumerated data types. Now WTH is an enumerated data type. Well, I'll tell you. An enumerated data type is a data type just like int or char, but the difference is that you create this yourself. And you know how int has values that you can assign like 1, 32, 64? Well, when you make your own data type, you give it a set number of values, and only these values can be assigned variables. So let's go ahead and uh, let me show you the syntax for this and give you guys a quick example. So say we wanted to make a data type to only store the days of the week. And we won't do Saturday and Sunday because, you know, way too many days in a week. So in order to do this, go ahead and type enum, -E weird, I know and then name your data type day and then in curly braces put all the options that you can assign to variables so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll put H for Thursday since there's already a Tuesday and Friday. So now any variable that you create from this data type can only accept the values M, T, W, H, F. If you try to assign a number or a S or a X or a tuna fish it will get an error message. So let's go ahead and create a variable from this data type. Enum today, just like int or char, this is your data type. And now you write the name of the variable. Say we want to set, oops, enum day, that's the data type, and today is the variable. Kind of got ahead of myself there. I guess I'm just a little bit excited. So, so now you can set any of these five values equal to today. So let's set it equal to w since today is Wednesday so now we can go ahead and you know use just just like a regular variable but the cool thing about this is I mean I won't even show you a demonstration for this because I'm gonna be typing one later on the cool thing is you can take numerical values integers and set them equal to these as well so for example set m equal to 1 you can do this and now you can use 1 and m pretty much interchangeably and the even better thing about this is whenever you set one of them equal to a number each sequential or ver values after that automatically get assigned the next integer so if we set this one equal to one Tuesday would automatically be equal to Wednesday be equal to three four five if M was equal to six for some odd reason then this would be equal to seven eight nine ten and why this is useful well I was going to show you in this tutorial but I'm running out of time I just noticed I mean not yet but if I type this program I want to show you I definitely won't have enough time so in the next tutorial if any of this seems confusing then I'm going to be clearing everything up and showing you an awesome program of why this is useful and it's going to become crystal clear to you and trust me if you watch the next tutorial in 10 minutes, you're going to be an enumerated data type pro. So uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. I know it may be confusing, but trust me, I'm going to clear everything up and write the coolest program in the next tutorial. So if you want this source code, I'll post it in my forum. I'll link below. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.